What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mama and Papa Joe. Just had uh, 16 briskets, eight cases, 200 case uh, delivered a couple of hours ago, and I made the time to uh, knock out the prep. We're cooking for benefit uh, this weekend. So I just want to quickly show you guys uh, how Mom and Papa Joe prep briskets out to feed the masses. If this is your first time checking out our channel, we appreciate you stopping in. Uh, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. We think you're going to enjoy what you see. Hey, to the old fans, hey, continued support. We really, really appreciate it. Let's get moving. So these briskets that were delivered are choice briskets. Uh, they're not extremely marble. They're not extremely thick, but it is what it is. Uh, we appreciate uh, this organization's uh, support. So we're going to make it work. You can see how thin that is, man. That is not even a half an inch. So we're going to really have to knock that off. Otherwise, uh, it's just going to dry, crisp up, and uh, not be pleasant eating. Let's start on the back side while this uh, fat is nice and cold. I've got some more detail trimming videos out there if you're really into trimming. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail. the skin. These uh, purpose to man is not that important. So you don't want to spend a whole lot of time, especially when you've got 16 of these to, to knock out. But all this thick heavy fat definitely uh, has to go. take that off. It is so thin. See how much fat we've got on the bottom. Thin that out just to here. We're looking for about an eighth of a uh, quarter inch to an eighth of an inch. When you're cooking for the masses, you definitely want to make sure that you get a significant yield from your brisket. But I'm still of the belief that I don't want to cook too much trash. I don't want to cook too much junk that I know I'm going to trim off in the end. 
because I'm wasting my seasoning and all that good stuff uh, is going to be cut off if you're trimming in the end. So I like to get all, most of my trimming done right up front. Now as we start working on this thin, floppy, we just got to try to figure out where it's going to work to take off. Even for this folks, you still want aerodynamics. You still want that smooth flow of heat and smoke over this brisket. So you still want to be able to round off and not have to worry about angles that are going to crisp up and dry and be uh, not so pleasant eats. So no angles, round off those edges.
Well, here we are, folks. These are the first four. And uh, ultimately, when you're trimming uh, for large cooks like this, uh, the idea is that you try to get everything just about uh, the same size. That way they cook evenly. And uh, hopefully, they all finish around the same time. But uh, I like the way these look. A little thin for the most part, but uh, they're not bad briskets. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. We appreciate you guys watching our channel and uh, keep looking forward to uh, some more videos. I'll holler at you guys later. Take care.